automated weather observation. One, three, one, three. Zulu weather. Wind two, five, zero at one, five, gust one, niner. Visibility one, zero. Clear below one, two, thousand. Temperature five Celsius. Dew point minus three. Altimeter three, zero, one, two. This is All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode with Between Layers Aviation. I'm Brian, and we are making a flight today from Lansing, Illinois, to Troy, Michigan. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful day, clear skies. Got a crazy tailwind, I hope, on the way there. Way. But, uh, and hopefully it'll be as smooth as well. So we're just getting started up here, plugging some things into the GPS. Uh, we're gonna go VFR today and get flight following. Uh, we're gonna have to stay below Detroit's airspace, but it should be no big deal. We've got Effie with us in the back here. She's excited to go anywhere with you, but uh, she always likes a plane ride. All right, we're gonna taxi to runway 27 here, and then uh, do our run up and get on our way. Lansing traffic, twin Cessna 466 spec, party on runway 27, making a left turn to the east of Lansing. Clear left, clear right. Airspeed's alive. Everything's in the green. 90, 100, 105, we rotate. Blue line, tap the brakes, gear up. Lansing traffic, Warrior 210 to Charlie is two miles uh, east of the high field war. We'll be doing holding at 3000 on the uh, 360 radio. Lansing traffic.
Okay, we're at 2500. We're just going to get clear of Gary's airspace here, and then we're going to go direct Troy and pick up flight following. Throttle it back a little bit because we're just in the yellow arc on the airspeed, and there's a slight bumps here and there. Southbound approach, Twin Cessna 466 Quebec. Twin Cessna 66 Quebec, Southbound approach, what are do for you? Okay, we'd like to pick up flight following with you if we could today. What type of aircraft is a Cessna 310. We are, our destination is Victor Lima Lima, and we're about uh, 10 nautical miles east of Gary right now. Six six Quebec, Roger. Uh, you're going to Victor Lima Lima, correct? Well, that's affirmative. Six six Quebec. And for uh, six six Quebec, you want to stay at uh, four thousand five hundred? I'm going to climb up to five thousand five hundred. Six six Quebec. Six six Quebec, uh, Roger. Six six Quebec, uh, squawk six five five three. Six five five three, six six Quebec. Yeah, B. Six six Quebec, your radar contact about uh, one five miles to the west of Laporte Airport. You're leaving five thousand two hundred southbound altimeter three zero one two. Three zero one two, position out two check six six Quebec. All right, wow, we have a great tailwind. We're doing 236 knots across the ground right now on a ground speed. The heater is having a little trouble keeping up, uh, which it does above 180 knots of air, 180 miles in airspeed. Uh, but we will survive. Okay, let's go through our cruise checklist. Uh, throttles are set, props are set, mixtures set, fuel pumps are off. Instruments are set, and we've got our fuel on the mains, left and right, so we're good. Showing uh, just over 40 minutes to Troy, Michigan. Happy snoozing in the back. It's a little chilly, like I said earlier, because the heater just doesn't keep up above 180 miles an hour. And uh, it's 40, about 39, 40 degrees outside right now. Okay, Well, one thing I like to do when I'm doing trips like this, uh, cross-country trips like this, is I like to plug in some VORs, and that's just kind of a backup navigation and another way to uh, confirm my position. So we'll plug in Kalamazoo's uh, VOR right now, which is 109.0, and get that radio tuned in. And it's remoted on the DME as well. So that gives us the distance as well once it locks in there. So we're on the 0, 0, 059 radio to Kalamazoo, which is about right. Based on our current position. Man, this ground speed is just great. It's 239 knots now. Nice thing too we can check here is the what our tailwind actually is calculated here. So let's so 5,500. Calibrated airspeed is 160, 70, 180, about 185 knots. 
Barometric pressures three zero one two. And outside air temperature in Celsius, let's call it five degrees. And our heading is zero seven five. Wow, so we got a, uh, a 43 knot tail, a 42 knot tailwind. It's 265 degrees at 43 knots, and we have a 42 knot component of that. So we are, we're doing great. This is awesome. Just amazing. Lansing approach, twin Cessna 466, Quebec with you now, 5,500. Uh, 466 Quebec Lansing approach. Good morning, Jack. Delta at 3006. 3006. Good morning. All right, so it's been pretty quiet on the radios. Um, we just got transferred over to Lansing. We are 17 minutes away from Troy, and our ground speed is just going up. We are doing 248 knots right now. So it's still pretty, uh, pretty crazy that uh, we got this strong tailwind and we're just booking. Thanks, seven up Zulu, Lance and departure, radar contact, and continue with the public miss and just advise when you would like to come around for another hour. Uh, we're about to fly right over Jackson Airport here, straight ahead of us. So hopefully, hopefully you can see that on the uh, camera. And in about five minutes, we're going to start a descent down to 2,500 to put us below the Class Bravo airspace of Detroit Metro. November 6, 6, Quebec, contact Detroit approach 118.95. Over to Detroit, approach 118.95, 66 Quebec. Aircraft Jackson Tower information, Papa is current, Jackson altimeter, 327. 25, 27, CS6, Detroit, Detroit approach 2766, Quebec with you now, 5,500. And last call, I got an answer to again. Uh, it's November 466, Quebec with you now, 5,500. 66, Quebec, threat approach, your altimeter is 3008. 3008, and we're going to start a descent down to 2,500. Number 6, Tango Romeo, contact Willow Tower, 125.27. 127. All right. Number 6, eight, Lima, fly heading 110. 110, 15 Lima. We'll pull back the power here to start a slow descent to 500 feet per minute. So that we stay clear of the Bravo airspace. And let's get the uh, AWOS at Troy while we're doing this. Weather, wind, two, five, zero, at, one, one, gust, two, zero, visibility, one, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand, temperature, eight, Celsius, two point, minus, eight, altimeter, three, zero, zero, eight, Oakland, Troy Airport. Automated weather observation. One, four, zero, three. Zulu, weather, wind, two, five, zero, at, one, one, gust, two, zero, visibility. All right, we got the weather. Winds out of the west, so we'll take Lima, runway two, seven. And zero, we'll intercept the localizer. Altimeter's kind of set. It's probably going to get bumpy here. As we get lower. Let's let you know for 237, we're actually going to go to 2.5. 237, Roger. Oh, yeah, it's getting bumpy for sure. Detroit approach, November 5-1, Charlie X-ray. Or 5-1, Charlie X-ray, Detroit. 5-1, Charlie X-ray at 340, just southeast, Ann Arbor. 
at 2,500 feet, we're going to Bradford, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's pretty much a 101 heading. I'm looking for a flight file line to cut across the space if we could. And what was your air, the identifier where you're going in the aircraft type again? Bravo Foxtrot Delta, uh, Brad. Definitely a wind shear layer there, like 4,700. What else did you want to go to? Uh, we'll take whatever works for you. Get what we want, we take 10 5. Hold it back to maneuvering speed here. Number 5 1 Charlie Act Gray, Squawk 5154. 51 54 to box 5 1 Charlie X Ray. Number 68 Lima, 3 miles from Felix, maintain 2400 until established to localize and clear for the ILS. Runway uh, 23 left approach. You know, again, so we're going to bumps and wind shear here. For the ILS. Make sure we should three strap ourselves in. Number 5 1 Charlie, actually, radar contact 6 miles southwest of the. We'll run airport LTK 2500. For now, you're clear to choice class Bravo airspace. Maintain VFR at 3500 and fly heading 160. 160 on the heading, 3500 on the altitude, 51 Charlie X ray, cleared into the Bravo. All right, we're still bouncing, pulling it back. Six eight Lima, contact Willow Tower one two five point two seven. One two five point two seven to Sydney Lima. And approach six six Quebec. Number five one three Charlie. I'm sorry, five one Charlie. X-ray climb maintain VFR at one zero thousand five hundred. That's five five one Charlie X-ray. And last call, Sega. Yeah, six six Quebec. Just want to give you a quick pie up. There's a pretty good wind shear layer about. Uh, Plus or minus 15 knots at 4,700. Roger, thank you. Number 5 1 Charlie X ray, amend your altitude, maintain 8,500, and fly heading 180. Short vector for your climb. 8,500, 180, 5 1 Charlie X ray. Okay, we are coming up to 3,000 now, a little bit here. Still getting bounced around, and airspeed is kind of bobbing between 160 and 140 right now. Fly the plane. Gas is on the mains, fuel pumps on. We're nine minutes out, so let's kind of do our pre-landing checklist here. Number two, I'm sorry, 37237, contact landing approach 118.65. 1865, now for 237, thanks. Right, good morning, Twitch Cessna, 63 Charlie X ray. Number 63 Charlie X ray is right. Uh, we called, uh, talked to a guy on the phone uh, about doing a survey right over the airport there. We sent a map out. And he told us to call you on 1895 after we launched off of Ann Arbor. We're just uh, east of Ann Arbor now at 1,900 feet. We're at Cessna 414, 63 Charlie X-ray. You're at 414, you said? Yeah, firm Charlie X-ray. And what else did you want to go to? We uh, 3,300, just a short line right over the edge. A girl, Effie. And You're a trooper. To the east. Roger. Okay, there's 2,500. So let's give a little bit of power to get us back to the bottom of the green here. But we're going to keep it slow because there's a lot of chop and there's been some wind shear. 4725. 4725, Charlie X ray. Okay. Number 63, Charlie X ray, flighting 090. Still doing 160, 2500 here. Didn't bounce around a bit, but. Uh, I think we went through that wind shear layer. Let's get an eye on the airport here. 
Got some towers there, which are on the map that I see. Tallest one being about 1700 MSL. And then buildings in Royal Oak there. Our 63 x ray cleared in first class Bravo airspace. Maintain VFR at 3300 and proceed on course. Course up to 33 into the Bravo. Charlie x ray, thanks. And it looks like uh, our GPS altitude needs to be higher than uh, 3,300. Uh, can we go up another to 3,600 feet for Charlie X-ray? I'm sorry, 6,300 Charlie X-ray, climb into VFR 3,600. Okay, 36, thanks, Charlie X-ray. Number two, Lima Charlie, got to take approach on 132.35. 132.35, two, Lima Charlie. Charlie X-ray contact Detroit Tower 135.0. 350. Good day. Thanks. See ya. Sir, 5-1 Charlie X-ray, you've exited Detroit's class from outer space. Roger that, sir, 5-1 Charlie X-ray. 6-6, six, six, come back, radar service terminated, squawk VFR, free change approved, good day. Squawk and VFR, free change approved, have a good one, 6-6, six, six, come back. Oakland, Troy, traffic, twin Cessna, 4 6, six back 7 miles to the west, inbound for landing, runway 27, Oakland, Troy. Regional Sirius 723 Sierra Delta is 10 miles out on the RNAV 24 approach, Sandusky. Okay, so here's the highway we're crossing. I think I see the airport right ahead of me. There's a water tower, it's a landmark, so let's look for that. And Oakland Troy traffic, helicopter 2, Mike at Gold 4, north, northeast headed inbound, Oakland Troy traffic. Oakland Troy traffic, twin Cessna 466 spec 5 to the west, inbound for landing, runway 27, Oakland Troy. Yeah, I got the airport, excellent. Okay, gas is on the mains, left and right. Fuel pumps set, on low. Gotta slow this baby down. Down to 2,000 to 1,700 now for pattern altitude. Almost in the white arc, so that means we can uh, get the gear thrown here as soon as we get down to 1,700 and slow down a little bit more.
aircraft hiding in St. Clair County to the west. This is Cessna 6 Echo Sierra. We're about two miles south of the airport right now, heading northwest, level of 2,500. Okay, guests on the mains, field pumps on. Props set, mixture set. Are you departing 2 2? Husky traffic, Sierra 723 Sierra Delta, it's five miles inbound on the RNAV. Oakland Troy traffic, helicopter to Mike Echo 2 to the northeast, um, coming in for 2 7. Helicopter to Mike Echo. Oakland Troy traffic, turn Cessna 466 specs on the left, down one runway 2 7, Oakland Troy looking for the cop chopper. We're going to give you the right of way, so you go right ahead. Uh, we're just heading west around here. Copy, thanks. I got you now in sight, 6 6 spec. Oakland Troy traffic, turn status now, 466 spec, turning left base, from by 27, Oakland Troy. And Oakland Troy traffic, Twin Cessna 466, back turning left to final, or my 27, Oakland Troy. Okay, three greens, mixture's rich, prop set, a little low. We'll resolve that here in a moment. On slope. You know, St. Clair uh, traffic, uh, Yankee Mike, uh, just come up on 2000 for three, uh, clear in the air to the west. Oakland Troy traffic, Twin Cessna 466 Quebec, clear all runways, Oakland Troy. Oakland Troy traffic, helicopter 2, Mike Echo on final for 27, uh, Oakland Troy traffic. Hang on, Effie. All right, well, here we are at Oakland Troy. Uh, it was a quick trip, just under one hour. 
Thanks for joining us again today with Between Layers okay, Aviation. Helicopter 2, Mike Echo departing. Runway if you enjoyed this flight, enjoy the experience that we're having, and enjoy Princess Effie, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well. And until next time, see you soon.